G'day guys, welcome back. I wanted to have another attempt at the 3D Bloom uh, with this new Platinum Ultra Clear Food Grade Resin. So every time I change my resin, I have to retry my bloom because it sets up at a different rate and you get actually a different effect from each resin. This was the one I did the other day. Really pretty. I'll come up here and show you close up. Look at the sparkle in it. This is my sunflower. <laughs> if you saw that video, you know I struggled a bit with my center, but I fixed it in the end. Well, I think I did anyway. So that's it there. That's the same resin that I use that I'm using today. So they're quite quite sparky, quite thin. So I'm gonna um, have another go at that, but um, just sort of do more rounded traditional blooms. Now, my resin has been sitting in my cup here for 25 minutes. I took its temperature, it's 35 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to start my video and probably type, um, type pipe in about 10 minutes. Um, I've got an ounce in there, 30 grams. That's for my white. I'm going to put a little tiny bit in there. Not much. That's going to be for my center. I'm going to do blue. Now, I, I saw the lovely Sherry Moulton do a white with the blue background, and it was gorgeous. Hi, Sherry. <laughs> so I, I thought, I want to have a go at that. So I'm just going to put some blue glitter in this one, and that will be my center. I need to let it thicken up a little bit more, though. A little bit more. So I'm just going to pipe with white. Um, and then do a blue background. This is Dorice. It's called Marine. Really pretty, hey? So that's my, my center. Look, you really don't need a lot. It's probably more than I need. Don't put it in just yet, though. Put it in at the last minute because if you put it in when your resin's still too thin, it'll really spread. So just wait um, until it thickens. Right, uh, as I said, I've got the 30 grams in there. And the rest of it I will pour in here. And now I've got a little bit of... Glitter. Where's my tape? Where did I put my tape? I've moved everything around because I've, I've been stocking up my new um, storage unit that I got for my birthday. And I've moved things around and now I can't find them. But I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll work out where everything is. Because my tape used to be in my pine drawers and now it's in my storage unit. Alright, so this is nice and warm and toasty, my resin. We'll pour that in there. And I made up um, 125 grams of A, 54 grams of B. For this size, this is about 20 centimeter across. I will be making, I think, I'm pretty sure I will. I'll design my own molds like these because you know how I've got the the coasters in this shape I don't actually have anything bigger so not of my own anyway so I'll design my own um, in three different sizes and, and you can use it as a just you know an individual platter or if you wanted to you could do um, a cupcake stand or, or whatever so <clears throat> that'll be coming later when I get a chance to make some more molds there's a bit of glitter in there a little bit of blue glitter come out right now normally I would use my Carsten craft it's not casting it's Carsten weird but today I'm going to try the Lorez angel white my labels a bit rubbed off I'll try and get this plastic out Every time I open it, it bugs me and I think I must get the plastic out and then I forget to do it. There we go. Done. It's got paste all over my hands though. Paste's really, really sticky, isn't it? Really sticky. Oh gosh. It's everywhere. Let me just put some alcohol on my gloves and see if I can get that off. It's good having the alcohol spray. I just use this. It's 100% isopropyl. Isopropanol. Okay, done. Now, I don't want to put very much in. I tend to put more than I should. 
if I was having one ounce of um, resin, I would do three drops of Cast and Craft. I think that's plenty. So because I, I can't get three drops, I'm just going to dip that in. Just the, the tip there. It's probably gone about halfway down. Anyway, you can see how much I've got there, front and back. And we'll see what that looks like. If I want it to be just opaque. I want it to be really, really opaque. Oh, what was that? Where did that come from? Who, who did that? <laughs> did I do that? So, yeah, I just want it to be just opaque. I'm going to come around and show you what it looks like, and then I can decide if I want to do some more. If you put too much in, it makes it too heavy, and then it, it tends to um, sink, and you get those worms, blobbies, worms on the back. Let's try and clean that off my stick because there's some stuck to the stick too, isn't there? Get that off. It really wasn't a lot, but yeah, you, you don't, when you're doing this, you don't want to make it too opaque because it just gets too heavy and it sinks. And then you get the blobbies. Look at the blobbies. It's pretty. I was testing something out. I thought it was going to work. Look at the front. It looks amazing. And I thought, yes, it's going to work. And then I turned it out and it's blobby. I made it really, I put quite a lot of white in and I made really quite thick lines. Oh, look at that white stuff still stuck to me. Okay, let's have a look. Um, I'm going to put, see, I can see the stick through that when I tip it. I'm just going to put a tiny bit more in. I'll just wipe my stick on the paper towel. I'm just going to dip just another little tip, probably half of what I had the first time. Let's have another little look. Just opaque. So add it slowly. Don't put too much in. You can always add more, but you can't take it out, hey? So go slow. Add a little bit at a time. I mean, if you're using the Cast and Craft, you can just go three drops. But because I can't do drops with this paste. I think that'll do. Yeah, I'll give it a go. Like I said, I don't want to overdo it. Don't want to overdo it. And I'm going to put a little bit of um, Max Sparkle White in by Colour Passion, just to give it a bit of a, a sparkle. Be careful not to get it into my mould. This stuff is shocking for flyaways. It just goes everywhere. So we'll do it slowly, <laughs> gently. I don't think it's going to change the colour. It's just going to add some sparkle. So that's that. Yeah, I don't think it's a mica powder as such. It doesn't tend to change the colour. It just adds sparkle. So, mix that in. Oh, my 10 minutes is up. Right, let's pour this in. It doesn't feel as if it's getting too hot, though. You know, as soon as you decant it, it starts cooling down. Right, I'll be... Good to go as soon as I tip this out. So just because I waited 25 minutes for my resin to warm up doesn't mean that you will do that with your resin because each resin has a different um, sort of, you know, working time. Some people have to leave their resin for, you know, almost an hour, depending on what resin they're using. But this is a pretty thick resin. Um, when you pour it out into your cup, you can see that it's it's pretty thick resin. <laughs> it already has a mound, you know, when you start stirring it. But other resins may be quite thin and you, you do have to wait quite a long time, you know, up to an hour even, depending on what resin you've got. So just have a little practice with it. there so that you can see. Right, uh, that's ready. I'm just going to put my centre in. That's feeling much more 
much more sticky, much more thick. Look at that when I lift it up. So, where's my middle? Oh, and there's a stray bit of glitter again. So if you want your centre to stay in a nice round shape, don't stir it because all you're doing is mixing clear resin in with your glitter resin and you'll thin the glitter resin out. But if that's what you want to do, like if you want to thin it out, then by all means give it a bit of a, you know, a stir. But if you want it just to stay where it is, just leave it. Otherwise, yeah, you're just mixing in that clear resin with the, the glitter and uh, it'll just... Just spread it out. Okay, here we go. I better torch that again because I always tend to get bubbles when I put the glitter in. My resin's pretty thick now. There's a bubble along the edge. It's the only problem when you leave your resin, you know, to thicken up, it, it gets thick. Um, and then the bubbles don't always want to come up to the surface there's another one over there the other thing i could do and I'll, I'll practice it i'll test it is mix the resin decant it um, while it's still thin and the bubbles can release and then wait because you can see how thick it is all right, let's do this, you guys. Let's do this. Oh, my scissors are over there. I've been decanting my little um, packets of glitter into little plastic bottles. Okay, I want it to be a little bit bigger than that. Making about a five millimeter hole. About that size. All right, here we go. Now I'm just going to do petals and I'm just going to keep going. So when you drip it, when you drop it like that, a drop falls down, it springs back. Another one springs back. If it just drips out constantly, it's too thin and you need to wait a bit longer. Oh gosh, I'm off center. Why am I always off center? I'm always off center. Oh gosh, it doesn't matter. Let's just do this. All right, here we go. I'm just going to keep going in a in a circle. Oh, look at the glitter. I'm going to try not to like pull and stretch as I'm going around because I want them all to be, you know, about the same thickness. My lines. You just got to be careful not to sort of stretch it too much. Look how off center I am. I always am. I don't know why. It's all right. This side will just get an extra row. I think the petals, I'm trying to do the petals roughly the same size. I'm squeezing with my thumb. to push the resin down. I have to stop in a minute and actually wind it back up again. I hope I got enough. Right, let's just stop there and wind this back up, push it back up. Okay, here we go. So it's best not to stop if you can, because when you stop, you tend to get more blobbies. So try not to stop. Okay, so that's good there. Just gonna come back around here and fill this. Try to get as close to your edge of your mold as you can. without touching the mold. Okay, a little bit more just there. 
it's a geode shape it's not you know quite round so okay there we go woohoo I'm done skis all right now let's get a bit of heat onto it just rub my hands with some my gloves with some alcohol so I don't get resin all over my torch I'm just going to go on low and heat it first all the way around and I'm going to start pushing from the outside in all the way through to the middle it will work it will bloom I torched in the middle a little bit more than I normally would just because I find that see now it's starting to get quite thin and moving around I'll stop um, usually my middle doesn't close up as, as much um, so I just hit it a little bit more in the middle, but is it moving? It's starting to move a little bit. I always find that one section doesn't warm as much. See, that, that's not moving as much as the rest. Maybe it didn't get as much heat. I'm always wary to heat it up too much, though, because... The resin will get thin and the colour will sink. But I didn't make it very, very dense, you know, very heavy. I only put a little bit of this in. So I'm hoping it will be okay. But you can see how the outside moves a lot faster. Like it closes up from the outside in a lot faster. And the middle doesn't tend to do it as fast. But it is working so far. <laughs> So once it's set for about three hours or so, I'm going to come and do a, a background. Um, so my glitter's spread a little bit there. That's because, again, I've warmed I warmed it up, so it's spread. Um, I should actually see if it works without warming it at all, but I'm never, I'm never um, gutsy enough. I always want to just heat it a little bit. So I'm going to mix a mixture of um, this resin art, Blue Moon, and some glitter. For my background same glitter I did with that um, and see if we can get a pretty effect just hope that it's doing its thing on the other side and not going to drop through I'm a bit concerned about that middle bit how it's not blooming just yet so I started in the middle didn't I yes I started in the middle and then I went around so the the pigment along the outside had been sitting longer so maybe it just needs to sit a bit longer but we'll see I'm going to come back and watch it every five minutes and see if it's doing anything because the outside's certainly working just this middle bit but then again see if you close if it closes everything up you don't see your background so sometimes it's nice to have a little bit of um you know negative space some see-through bits in the middle and along the edges so that you can actually see your blue background but anyway oh, it's always nerve-wracking at this stage I'll take it down and you can have a little look and see what it's doing that was the other one it's really pretty you see the shimmer in this look at the sparkle in it just very delicate little sparkle Okay, but you can quite clearly see that the sides have closed up. But the middle hasn't. Although I did torch the middle quite a bit, didn't I? I went, that was the first thing I did. I went round and round and round and round with my torch in the middle. Hmm. Maybe that wasn't a good idea. I'm still learning, you guys. Still learning. Anyway, we'll see. I just... I have a bad feeling that it might not close over. It might just drop. Okay. Um, I'll come back in about an hour and we'll see what it's doing. 
I can always do it again. And see, that's why I'm not doing too much resin. I'm just sort of practicing on this medium size. I don't want to do too much at a time and waste my resin. So I'll be back soon and we'll see if it's closed up at all. Okay, guys, I'm back. Now, I wasn't going to put the video up from this one. Um, just because it wasn't my my favorite, like my I guess I didn't do it as well as I would have liked to, but um, I showed it when I was doing these. But I thought, and, and a lot of people wanted to see it, so I've just popped it back in, and we'll do the reveal for those people that maybe haven't seen that video. We'll do this one, okay? So they they kind of well, they're supposed to match. When I did the background of these ones, I had a little bit of blue left, and I put it over the top of this. I didn't video it, like I said, I wasn't planning on showing you because. I didn't feel as if it had worked, but you guys wanted to see it, so here we go. All right, so nice and set up. And we'll pop it out. Okay, there we go. So I've done a few of these ones lately, but um, yeah, I haven't shown you all the videos because I wasn't happy with them. So um, yeah. Let's, let's have a little look, okay? So it's a different effect to these ones. This one's got more um, paste in it. So you can see it's more opaque. This one's a bit different. All right, here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> look at that. It's more like a, a snowflake. A very big snowflake. Let's have a look. I'll bring you in for a close-up of these up here because they, they are pretty. And you can see the sparkle in it from the sparkle white. But you can see see how the edges have, have dropped down a little bit. They've been a little bit heavy. I think it's because my resin wasn't quite set up enough. <clears throat> so you can see they've dropped down a little bit. Whereas with this one... They've all pretty much stayed where they're supposed to stay. Nothing's really dropped down. So there it is. What do you think? <laughs> and the one I did before this, which also I haven't put up, I'll show you. That was the front when I thought, oh, it's worked. I was so happy. Everything's closed up. It looks as if it worked. But... Look at that. It's all blobby on the back, which you might like. Maybe you, you do. I don't know. And I gave it a, like, a little swirl in the middle to make it look like a rose. So there was no point putting a background on that one because everything closed up. I just actually did circles or rings with that and then drew the, the resin in and out with my stick. So that was that one. So you can see the difference. This one, the... The resin was too thin. The color dropped down a lot. Um, this one, the resin was a bit thicker, but still a little bit too thin. So the color dropped down as well. Um, and then this one was pretty much perfect. The resin was thicker. And uh, the colored resin pretty much stayed floating on top. Suspended in the resin. It did spread and bloomed so anyway that's the difference so hopefully you guys have um, learnt a little bit about that and how resin works but uh, yeah all pretty and uh, all a lot of fun to do and of course there was this one which I absolutely love which was pretty much I think perfect with the weight of the resin so yeah been doing lots lately <laughs> it's a lot of fun but it um, it can be um, it can be frustrating, you know, because you do it and then um, you try to recreate it and it doesn't work and it, get, it can get a bit frustrating. So there we go. Um, I just wanted to show you that because you guys were asking for it. So, yeah, I'll, um, I'll keep doing. I want to do some more colours and a bit more experimenting. So um, I'll see you real soon for the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Love you all. Bye for now.